Howdy folks, Richard here. You know, fishing with golden shiners is uh, one of my favorite techniques or live bait techniques for bass, especially largemouth. I've caught some big bass over the years on Lake Gunnersville, Weiss, Neely Henry. But now in Florida is where I learned about these balloons. Uh, what they do when you blow them up, and you don't want to blow them up very big. I mean, it doesn't take up. Uh, look here. They're just little party balloons. Whoop, wait. Okay. Really about that size will hold up an 8 to 10 inch shiner without any trouble because there's air in it. What it does, it won't tire the shiner out as quick as a regular float. Uh, and because of that reason, you know, each and every shiner that you have is valuable because it could mean a trophy bass. Especially shiners from 8 inches, 8 to 11 inches. Those are the ones that I like to use, the big ones, if I can get them, for the big fish. They look too big, but believe me, they're not. A five pounder would hit a 10 inch shiner without any trouble at all. And by using these, hey, it'll upgrade your catches. I hope y'all enjoy the video. I tell y'all what, I, while we're drifting this shiner right down the edge of this grass right here, I've got me a little spinning rod right here, and it's loaded with 17 pound test line. It's a medium action rod, Gander Mountain tournament series rod with a uh, loose speed spin on it which are real good reels or I like them uh, and I have a three alt hook right here eagle claw hook and I've got it rigged because I've got some shiners it's not real real big they're medium sized shiners so uh, I'm going to show you an old Florida trick right here Let's see what's going on right here that's bass no he just caught up on grass yeah that's all it is okay and I'm going I'm sorry I'm going to show you how to uh, use a balloon a balloon there's a lot of advantages to a balloon your bait will last longer okay little resistance to your shine or shad whatever you're going to use and i just take a little party balloon and blow it up but that's too big air don't pull that's grass you want to deflate it down to about like that real small about the size of a quarter hey get off of that grass that's good. One of these times, you're going to be a big bass there. Ah, we'll get into it right here in a second. Okay. And uh, just simply take it about like that, about like a quarter, and, and just tie it on one time. Now, you can adjust it by pulling it up or down forever how deep you want to fish. And that'd be probably about right, right in here. And I'm going to do some of that. I can see right now it's going to be an advantage today because the fish are relatively shallow. I believe account of this overcast weather, well, I know they are. Back up in here. And fish grab that. A fish has grabbed that shiner right off of that grass. <laughs> He's had it about four seconds right now. Let's let's see what we got. See him easing off. <clears throat> Take a clicker off. Feels like a good one. Yeah, he is. It's a good bass right here. Real good bass. <laughs> good way to start the morning off. Let me get my hands out of the way. Look at here. Good way to start the morning off, I guarantee you. Guarantee you that. 
Wow. I mean, it's a good one. It ain't no 10 pounder, but it's a good gunner for bass. <laughs> Look at him. That didn't take long at all. So I may just fish dirt today. <laughs> Come in here. Wow. It's a good fish right there. Got him in a good place. See right there? I mean, that just didn't take long at all. About a four pounder. Let's let him go. I don't like to keep him out of the water long at all. Wow. Get back in now. Overcast day today. So I may be better off focusing on the shallow grass. But let's put us another shiner on here and see what we can do. I'm gonna nose hook you. The last one was in the back. There we go. They live longer when you do that, when you nose hook them. Let's make us another cast. I'm gonna lob it out here real soft. You don't want a shiner to hit too, too flat, it'll kill him. I'm anchored up right here on my place. Right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead. And I've got one freelining right here. I'm gonna get one of these smaller shiners, hook him up, and throw him out there under float while I'm here just to probe around and see what's going on out here if I can find me a small one there's one right there I'm going to use the small ones for this right here I tell you these shiners are, they're tough they're hard to hold on to but we're going to I'm going to hook him right here in the nose right in his nostril just like that I'm going to fish about two foot deep over this grass. Huh. Damn. That's what I thought. <laughs> Let's see what we got right here. fish hit funny got him my goodness he got all up in that grass that mill full lucky they got look how i got this fish right here this happens a lot shiner fishing right here let me show y'all this wind's giving me a fit right here but he did he hit funny because when he grabbed it, he went all up in that mill full. It's a small fish, but look how I got him, right in the cheek. <laughs> He's pretty and fat, though. About a two and a half pounder, probably. Okay, let's let him go. Get on back in there, boy. You're too little to hit a shiner of that size. Now, we're wanting big mama. But the fact of the matter is, we'll take what we can get. That was unusual bite right there. I think it's gotten so windy right here, folks. I think I'm going to go to the other side over there to get out of the wind. I'd love to fish this area, but I, can't, I really can't do it effectively. So we'll hunt some fish. I'll just go to the other side over here. And see if there's some fish over there. Maybe it'll calm down after a while. We got some uh, millful over here. I'm going to get out of the thick stuff. And I'm going to find the edge of it right here. And then we'll go down it with a shiner. Right down the edge of it. Ooh. Balloon is down. 
balloon is down, folks. First balloon bite. This is on a, about a six-inch shiner right here. I'm going to stalk back to him. And then we'll check him out and see what we got. See how big a fish or how... There he is, right there. Okay, we got a hook in him. <laughs> I can't tell. He's in the grass right now. There he comes loose. We'll just see. There's the balloon and there's the fish. He ain't very big. But he is pretty. Yep. Uh-huh. You got a thorn in your jaw, ain't you, Sonny? Another pretty little bass, though. There's that grass he got in. I like that Gander Mountain Rod right there. I'm not advertising anything. I either like it or I don't. It's real light. And this one's got a lot of backbone. I mean, when, when you set a hook, you set a hook. It does a good job. I like it because it's light. Fishing with plastic worms and stuff like that is perfect. Six foot six long. Let's let him. Let's let him go. Get back in there. All right. We'll rig us another shiner up right here. Just continue our drift. I'm just right on the edge of the grass. Is all I'm doing. Hey, let me make sure about this. There's a bass on me. Okay. Let's let them have it just a little bit longer. They're hitting funny. I count this cold front. I'm really having to work for what I have caught. Let's see what we got right here. He's had it long enough. Golly. Now, folks. <laughs> that fish was tangled up around grass and everything else. Look how small he is. Now, that shiner was a big one. I mean... Real big one. Come on in here, boy. That ain't even a pound and a half. And he hit such a big shiner. Let's get that hook out right there. What about that? He's pretty, though. Get on back in there, boy. Now, we want a big one. Let's try that again. Here he comes. Let me loosen my drag up. I believe we got a good one. No, he ain't that good. Golly! I had trouble getting him out of that grass. He's just a little fella. <laughs> now he was moving 90 to nothing with that shiner. Come on. He's a chunk. Get a big one so far. I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying. Whew. They go up in that mill full. Mill full is sort of like hydrilla, but it's not near as tough. But they'll go weave up in it when they hit a shiner and go deep. So you really have to bear down on them. But he is a girthy little thing. Let's put him back. He is beautiful. Get back in there. Elmo, I don't know where Elmo's at. Now, he could be out here enjoying this. We're not catching very big ones, but we are catching them. Hey, let's catch another one. Let me, let me see if that's a fish. Get 
Ouais, bon. Folks, I don't know what I got. There it comes, folks. That fish was over a log, is what it was. Whew. See how big he is. Pretty good bass. But he's over a log or something. Whew. We got him out of there. Pretty good large mouth. Pretty good and struggling today. Come on in here. Doing some struggling in here, ain't we, boy? You can see the water is dingy. This morning it was real rainy. And this is the front right here being pushed out. There's a good bass. Proud to get him. Proud to get him. I'm so proud to get him. I'm gonna throw me another shiner in there. They could be another one. How healthy. You pretty thing. You, you potted. Let me let you go. My goodness. All right, let's let him go. That's a beautiful fish right there. Get on back in there. Look at me sulking. What you gonna do? There he goes. Folks, shiner fishing under a balloon. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to it. I'm gonna throw this one back. He's too little anyway. One of the advantages is um, it won't tire your shiner out near as bad as a conventional flow. Um, and shiners are valuable if you're hunting for trophy bass which we didn't catch one today but we will okay um, on video but you know what what's more important than that is to thank y'all for watching for the support and the great comments I keep saying the same thing over and over but I don't know what else to say it's just been something else but normal like most people does because you know we have to or uh, you know people might think you're living yeah, 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 yeah. but I can't help it I am who I am just like you are whoa